Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I am doing a video about my commonplace notebook and that's what this one is. Um, when I bought this back in December at Target, I got this at Target, you can tell because it has a little dollar spot red tag on it. Um, I bought it because I wanted another journal, honestly. And I was going to journal in it because I was pregnant and about to have a baby. So I was like, okay, I can just journal about my month, my time being pregnant, my birth and everything. That did not happen. That is not what happened with this notebook. What happened was I had spent a lot of time post-pregnancy dealing with postpartum. And that was so hard. And maybe I'll do a video about that some other time, but that's not what I'm talking about here. Because I was having such a hard time, I fell off of planning. I fell off of everything. Everything just felt so different and I didn't know what to do. I was trying to figure out my life. I'm basically back to square one um, again, which is completely fine. Like I'm trying to find myself as a mother and life is crazy. But um, one of the things I, I found through my endless search on YouTube to make myself fill the void of being alone and breastfeeding for hours at the middle of the night, which was so hard. Um, I uh, found a, a video called The Commonplace Notebook, or like, d discussing The Commonplace Notebook. And I will link it below, I will find it, and I will link it, because this person isn't the first person to talk about Commonplace, but she's the one where I watched her video months and months ago and then I rewatched it when I was postpartum and decided to do it. I was like, now is the time. This is the time. And so when I open it, I had started putting some stickers here just because I wanted to be happy again and not just feel so miserable. I'm just I had so much lack of sleep. And so I was like, I need happiness. So this is what I started doing and I didn't finish it. Um but here, I my first thing that I did a spread on was the notes that I did on another YouTuber who has a commonplace notebook. And she, I, I, I titled this March 15th, 2022. March was a hard time, I remember. My baby was about two to three months and I still hadn't figured myself out yet. But, um, I mean, I still still haven't, but you know. That's besides the point. This is notes. Apologize for yawning. These are the notes that I took from the organized money video. This is not who I watched the original video from, but I will link this video down below as well. But basically, a complete notebook is a place to put down your um, your ideas, your research, like observations, like anything anything that you want to come back to later and do more research or writing upon. So I have some examples like quotes, observations, song lyrics, life experiences, conversations, information from books, movies, podcasts, social posts, anything you want to return to and read and research later. So it's a place to collect these ideas and information all in one place. So, you know, it's supposed to inspire you. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something to inspire me again. And so that's why I um, started this notebook. And um, again, these are my notes. You can feel free to read them um, or just go watch the videos that I told you about. But um, I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I started doing in here. Um, like I have a few quotes here, like, progress not perfection i am enough i was made for greatness i will achieve you are loved beyond measure um these are just some quotes that spoke to me at the time especially you know postpartum it was you know a difficult time um and i know i talk about that a lot but like you don't know it until it happens to you so here i did some meal planning um brainstorming um i i put down like foods that we enjoy um, I don't know why I skipped this. I think it's because I just kept thinking I was going to have more foods. Um, and then here I wrote down 10 steps to becoming that girl. This was a video. I watched it and I wrote down everything they said. So that's basically what it means to have a commonplace notebook. It's just take notes about anything and everything you want to know about and keep knowing about. So 
these are things that I was trying to help inspire me, you know. Uh, habits I regret not starting sooner in my 20s. And I write down like who, whose video it was, like Tim Desant and the date. Um, how I built seven streams of income by age 24, eight ways to enjoy your life more. How uh, to eat for $10 a week, food ideas. Seven habits that helped me get my life together. Five simple ways to actually practice self-love. Now this is when I started um, like thinking about my blog and um being like i need to really practice self-care um being a mother being a student being who i was and who i still am i need to be taking care of myself so i was like i need to start working on that so that's the beginning of that journey of my blog specifically um 11 ways to fill your notebooks items to buy, you know, like creating little content, KVP, and then digital marketing products. These are blank. Oh, okay. I was going to do a current me and future me page. I still haven't done that. Goals. 10 ways my life will be better if I achieve my goals. Um, here I talked about some of my goals and I was separating them out. And my word of the year was ambition. And I just was like, this is what I want to do. I want to be an overachiever. I want to be doing things for myself and being better and feeling better about them. <sighs> you want to go? So again, this is me just trying to work things out. Weekly reset, what I want what I love about myself, what I hate about myself. I haven't filled these out and I still have time to. Um, just clearly, this is like, you know, how things are. Um, things that make me happy list, what we need for my baby, packing list. And then here we go into um, recent pages. Uh, like my therapy sessions, like notes that I take at therapy sessions, my planning for my um, planning <laughs> um, list to organize life, Christmas planner, YouTube checklist, tutor notes. All right, so yeah, I started doing more therapy sessions, outlining my essay, I mean, mainly just if I needed a page for something and just make it like messy, this is where I put it, you know. I know like you can just say that it's a notebook, it's just a regular notebook. Why do you need to call it something or something? I just think it's nice to like think of it as an inspiration notebook. It's meant to inspire you. It's meant to hold thoughtful thoughts, you know. Um, and it's not just like a random journal with random things in it which i mean i do have random things in it but like i feel like it all has a purpose it all serves me you know so yeah um i very much enjoyed um my journey with this journal so far and i think i will finish it um which i feel really proud of um definitely let me know you guys what um you guys think about the commonplace notebook if you've heard about it before and um if you want any more videos about it um i definitely think i'm gonna have one for next year which i need to figure out where i'm gonna put that but yeah so thank you for watching i will see you guys in the next video tomorrow bye